Now that we have a few barrels in our world, let's go ahead and add some visual effects to them to give them a little more life. Now we could use the VFX spawner device inside of Fortnite. However, we want to use something more custom. So we're going to use the Niagara VFX system. Let's go ahead and create our own folder. We'll call it VFX. Inside of here in the content browser, we're going to right click, go to FX, and we have two options. Niagara Emitter and Niagara System. Niagara Systems are the container and they hold emitters and our emitters are what we see visually inside of our world. Let's create a new Niagara System. It's going to ask us how we want to create it. We can create an empty one, copy an existing one, or create them from a template or other emitters. I'm going to choose the first option, New System from Selected Emitters, and hit Next. If you don't see all of your options, go ahead and hit Show All at the top. We're going to go to Parent Emitters, and we're going to make some smoke and some fire. So let's go ahead and add the smoke first. We'll click on the FN Core Smoke Sprite, and click the Add button. We can add multiple emitters at this point, but we're going to add it later to show you how to do that. And hit Finish. We're going to name this FX Smoke, and we'll double-click to open it. This is our Niagara System Editor. We can see a preview in the top left, some parameters in the bottom left, and in the middle, we have our actual overview. We have a node-based setup. This blue one is the parent. It controls all the main control settings. And then the red ones themselves are the individual emitters. Here we can see I have a smoke sprite, and it's emitting smoke. If we want, we can go ahead and save this out, go back into our level, drag the system into the world, and we can see it's now emitting smoke. We can see in our world that our smoke is not working anymore. But inside of our preview, it continues to repeat. At the bottom, we have our timeline, and we can see every second and a half, it's repeating. The preview is going to repeat down here in our timeline. By clicking on the emitter, without anything selected, we get access to all of our properties, all of our individual sections. We can enable or disable them as needed. Say, for example, we no longer want to scale it by color. We can disable it, and we can see what that would look like. In our case, on the emitter state, we can see it set to loop once. I'll change this to loop infinite. Now we'll go ahead and save it and go back into our level and we can see it's looping infinitely. Now inside of our viewport we can see this is a bit big for what I want. And inside of our Niagara editor we have a section called initialize particle. This is where it sets up the particle when it first spawns it in. You can see it's under the spawn section. And part of this is the size. So our sprite is always going to be 350 units large. Let's change this down to something smaller, maybe 100. And we'll go ahead and save it and look at our level. And we get something a little more appropriate for what I want. And after a little bit of adjustment, we can see I now have some smoke coming out of the top of my barrel. And I think the size looks good. Now I want to add a little bit of fire. I could go ahead and create a second system with a fire emitter in it and use two of them. Or I could just create an emitter inside of our editor and add it into our system. Or another option is I can add another emitter directly into my system. I can right click in the background and choose to add an emitter. I'm gonna add an emitter and it gives me the same basic setup as before. This time I want my fire sprites sub UV. And now we can see we have a second emitter in here. I'll organize it a little better. We can individually isolate them if we wanted to. Like for example, I can only see the smoke by disabling the fire. I can only see the fire by disabling the smoke. In this case, my fire is a bit big, but we've already seen how to change this. So we'll look at initialize particle and we'll see that our sizes are between 20 and 65. However, there is another one here called shape location. Basically, this is a shape, a sphere in this case, with a size of 100 that our fire is going to be created inside of. Let's lower this radius down to maybe 50. And now we can see our fire is much closer to our smoke. I'm going to go with maybe a 25. And now my fire seems to be smaller than my smoke. I'm going to go ahead and save this, go back into our level, and now I have a little bit of fire and smoke inside my barrel. A nice tip, we can't really see it very well with this widget in front of it. We can push the G key, and now all of our widgets in our world will be hidden inside of our viewport. And if we want to, we could use the G key to bring it back, or we can go ahead and turn off game view. Now that we have our effects set up in a basic system, it isn't looking quite like I want it because of the fact that, one, 
There's no lighting attached to it, so it's just this plain color. And two, it's separate from my barrel. Let's go ahead and look at adding lighting to my effect and then combining this all into one reusable prop. 